Now, 845 with the story of a horse that has a very unusual talent. Our animal advocate, Jill Rappaport, caught up with him in Rocky Ridge, Maryland. Jill, tell us about it. Okay, this horse is a rare breed indeed, Matt. He certainly is unusual. His name is Metro Meteor, a retired race horse who ended up winning the Triple Crown off the track. Now, you see, he got a loving home and a special career that's painting a very bright picture for horses in need. And they're off. As a two-year-old, Metro Meteor was definitely on the fast track. He's just inhaled the field. Winning eight races from Saratoga to Belmont, and in his heyday, earning up to $300,000. Oh, he just blew him away. But in 2009, this six-year-old thoroughbred saw his last finish line due to crippling knee injuries. <laughs> for most retired racehorses, the future can be bleak, much worse for the injured. But for Metro, he hit the trifecta by getting a second chance for a new life after artist Ron Krajewski and his wife Wendy adopted him. These horses, when they're done racing, they still have 20 years or of life to go. So think about what you're doing to the horse and what kind of a career he's going to have when he's done racing. And a new career he's got, donning a saddle for an easel. And his work now has his fans racing to buy up a Metro Original. Waitlist only. That'll work. He's our most popular artist. I just shipped um, one of the smaller paintings to Japan, Canada, uh, so many, uh, we probably shipped to at least 20 or 30 different states. His work is in high demand. I know, I wish I had his career. <laughs> <laughs> How did you know, because you're an artist, this horse could have this sort of talent? As you can see, he's, he's always moving around. He would sit and would be up, bobbing his head up and down the stall. If I could ever teach him to hold paintbrush, maybe we could do something with it. <laughs> I never would have thought he would have picked up painting. Good boy, you got a few strokes out of that. A little Jackson Pollock, right? There, yeah, there's a there's a real <laughs> kind of a contemporary flair to them. Do you find that there are some days where he's more inspired than others? Oh yeah. There are days when I come out and then he just has a totally different breaststroke. Sometimes he's feeling violent or he's gonna stroke and take it across the <laughs> canvas. Sometimes he's feeling whimsical where he's just gonna make little nice circles and <laughs> You think it's gone to his head a little bit? I think everything goes to his head. He's, <laughs> he suffers from a big ego. And that big ego is bringing in big bucks, selling up to $500 a pop for a Metro masterpiece. And in the four months since he started, this gelding has garnered $20,000. But Ron donates 50% of the profits to New Vocations Racehorse Adoption Program. The rest goes to his vet bills, assuring Metro stays happy, healthy and pain-free. Metro Meteor has done more for retired racehorses than any ambassador. He is spreading the message that you just don't discard them when their racing careers are over. They can all do something. He's talented. He's my buddy. Now, Ron only lets Metro paint up to an hour a day, a few days a week, because you know, Matt, there's a very high burnout rate amongst exactly. horses who paint, so we got to take it slow here. But it really is a wonderful message. Give these horses another life because they have so many more years to live, right? You, you own a couple of Metros? Do you? <laughs> no, seriously, do you? Uh, yeah, well, my mind's at the end. We're going to take right. you through. Aren't they beautiful? You can see the moods. Violent, creative, whimsical, and romantic. <laughs> I don't know what to say, Jill. Thank you very much.